Hey guys, it's Kat and welcome back to Cat's Eye. Today I'm so excited because we're going to be reviewing Revolution's Pride Proud of My Life eyeshadow palette. It is so shiny and beautiful, but this video is very special to me and I hope you'll watch to the very end to see why. As you know, it is June, it is Pride Month, um, but yeah, I was super excited to see it available on the Ulta website. When I clicked on the actual product on the website, it said in stock and please hear me out. I think this story should be told. When I went to Ulta and I actually went yesterday, I went with my daughter and I know where every makeup brand is in Ulta. I go there quite often. So I went to Makeup Revolution and looked high and low for this palette. And after a few minutes, my daughter could sense my frustration. She's like, oh, mommy, just go ask the sales lady. So I went up to the sales lady who was very kind. I said, hey, I'm looking for Makeup Revolution's Pride Proud of My Life palette. She's like, oh yeah, we have that in. So she starts walking ahead of me and she keeps walking and she keeps walking. She walks past Makeup Revolution all the way into the corner of the store, to the back corner of the store. It was a small display case with the palettes and the items facing the back wall. There was no way I could have found this palette on my own uh, walking through this massive Ulta store. And I didn't think anything about it. I was just excited that they had the palette in stock. So I grabbed it, checked out and left. Um, so I was getting ready to shoot the video today. And I thought, why was this put in the back? It's Pride Month, it's June. I thought, you know, well, okay. So I, I do what I did what I normally do as a person. I was concerned. I called Ulta this morning and I actually spoke to the manager and I said, you know, I was in your store yesterday. My name is Catherine. I was excited about purchasing this palette, but um, to my disappointment, it was all the way in the back, facing the back, as if they weren't proud to display this product this proud of my life palette and she reassured me she was very kind she was very sweet she said don't worry Ulta Beauty she stated uh, we support diversity we're loud and proud we're aware it's pride month and I asked her I said well when did you get these products and she said we got it about 10 days ago because we know we're right in the middle of pride and she goes don't worry you know um, I don't know who put it there was pretty much her excuse um, but she says, I'm looking at it right now. Yeah, if she's talking at the counter where you check out, it was all the way against the back wall facing the back corner. So I, just as a consumer, I was just concerned. Um, but anyway, I did pick it up. Um, okay, it may not be a big deal to you, but it is a big deal to me. Um, growing up in the arts, I, I have a lot of friends in the LGBT community. I have a lot of family members in the community as well. I'm not gonna cry, <sighs> damn it. And the reason why I wanna make this video is for a very close family member. And she supported me in YouTube and this one's for her. And this is for you, Jill. Anyway, this is gonna be a great look today. Um, so let's get back to the palette, okay? It retails for $15, you get 32 shades, 17 shimmers, and 15 mattes. Uh, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna show you all the, sorry. I'm gonna show you all the swatches. My daughter even helped me, she wanted to be in the video, and, and she, I'll insert all the swatches. And here are the swatches on the top row. They're not named, they're just numbered. Number one, number two, Number three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, they're kind of patchy, but patchiness doesn't explain everything. Wait till we put them on the eyes. And this is my daughter's arm. Yeah. And here's the second row. Number nine, 10, 11, 12 is that beautiful, vibrant purple. Where was I at? <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 is that beautiful gold. 14 is that magenta. 15 is that shimmery gold, which is lighter, almost a champagne color. 
and number 16 is that brown. It's kind of patchy, but again, let's not judge off the swatches. Nice. They are cruelty free. Uh, they state it's alluring neutrals and splashes of vivid shades. So even like the meekest person, a 52 year old mom um, can even use this palette and come up with beautiful neutral looks. And here's the third row. Number 17 is almost like that taupey color. Number 18 to the left is again like a almost like a beigey color. Now number 19 is that gorgeous turquoise. It's a shimmer. Number 20 is a fuchsia and that is a matte. Number 21 is a shimmery almost uh, pinkish and Number 22 is that beautiful shimmery gold. Number 23 is that beautiful, almost like cerulean blue. And the number 24, which is on the far right, is that beautiful purple, is a matte color. These swatched a little bit better than the last first two rows. So here she is. As you can see, there's a lot of beautiful splashes of color as they promised, but some beautiful neutrals. All right, so I wanna dive in. We're gonna do a very neutral look today. And I actually don't even know what I wanna do, but I love these colors, they speak to me. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go in with this very neutral color right through here. And they're not, they're not named, they're numbered. So I'm gonna go in with number nine. And um, I've, I have a couple of Makeup Revolution palettes. I do have the Vitality palette, I love it. I'll be honest, when I was swatching these uh, pans they were not as buttery as usual but and here is the last row number 25 has definite pigment it's like almost like a bright fuchsia number 26 is like a slate gray 27 was very patchy it's like almost a burgundy in the pan but it looks a little reddish pinkish on my swatched arm uh, number 28 is again another shimmery gold. Number 29 um, kind of looks like a uh, shimmery pink, um, champagne-ish pink. Now 30 is very patchy as you can see. 30 is kind of just looks like a in the pan, uh, just kind of like another pink. There's a lot of pinks in this palette. Um, and then 31, again, another shimmery gold, just almost mustardy color. That swatched beautifully. And then the very last one, 32, is like a, looks almost like a grayish. But that one swiped pretty strong on my arm as well. But those are all 32 colors swatched. Woo! Let's get on with it. And you get this fabulous mirror, and it feels very weighty. So I'm excited. Let's dive right into this look. I'm just gonna brush number nine all the way across my lid, just as a nice base. The way I did already prime my eyes with MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochrely. Okay, all right, so as a transition color, I think I wanna go in with, let's see, number three, this kind of like peachy taupey color. There is a ton of kickback, but let's go in. Oh, that's beautiful. That's very pretty. 18, God, there's so many eyeshadows in this palette. It's crazy. And just kind of go in my crease here, just to deepen it up. This mirror is fantastic, I'll give it that. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really pretty, I like that. So now, I think I'm gonna go in with, oh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go in with this plum color here. It's number nine. Tap off the excess. I'm gonna just gonna go into the corner of my eye and make it open up. Oh, 
Oh, this is, that's very pretty. And I'm going to take it just a little bit and go under my lash line to connect it. It's pretty. Win with this one and just see if I can soften this up just a hair. It is number 20. Ooh. No, it's actually number 30. My bad. <laughs> And connect it and again try to bring it up just a little bit for my hooded eyes so I have some depth there now on the lid I think I want to go in with it's very shimmery hopefully it's not too light I'm just gonna pop it onto the lid it's kind of gritty Right through here and take my Morphe brush I'm gonna go in with that black it looks gray but it's actually it's swiped actually very dark and I'm just gonna go ahead and define this a little bit better and do the outer corners of my eye go in with this number one color number one and just highlight under the brow bone and I think for the inner corner I'm just gonna use my finger and go in with number good 15 number 15 in case you're wondering, it's got all the numbers right here on the back of the package. So I'm just going to go into the inner corner of my eye, a little pop of color, and to highlight there. I'm going to take that same tiny brush with number 19 and just go slightly on the inner corner of my eye. You know you can get a lot of fabulous looks and today I'm not going to go for a crazy look. I just wanted something nice, natural, muted. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put on my eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, I have my eyeliner and my mascara on, but before I put my mascara on, I did put on the Lash Food Collagen Primer. Um, in case you've missed it, I've been doing a series on Lash Food Maximize Systems to see if my eyelashes will grow. But yeah, check it out. I'll put the link up there. But yes, here we are with the final look, testing out the Revolution Pride Proud of My Life palette. Like I said, it has 32 pans, 17 shimmers, 15 mattes. Um, yeah, and it retails for $15. It's got a fantastic, huge mirror here. The packaging is stunning. I love it. it seems very solid. Um, some of the colors I agree, did come out patchy, did swatch patchy. Um, you do have some wonderful, wonderful color stories here that you can come up with a lot of looks. Um, I feel like I look like a soccer mom today because I just went for a very neutral look. But yeah, um, leave a comment down below. I didn't want to be coming off as like such a downer. I mean, I was concerned being at Pride Month, being that this is June and I thought Ulta should have displayed it proudly in the front and not hidden in the back. Uh, like I said, leave a comment down below if you've been to your uh, local Ulta and see if this particular um, promotion is right up front and center or in the back somewhere. It kind of, it just, like I said, it just gave me some concerns. I'm sorry I didn't get, I didn't mean to get so upset. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do this video was 
for my sister-in-law. She tragically passed away last Friday and um, she had some struggles with addiction. She was a beautiful person. She was in a lot of pain and she was the one from the beginning that supported me with this with this channel. She said, you can do it. And I'm like, oh, there's so much competition out there. I don't even know if, if I will have one subscriber. And she's like, you have me. I'm your subscriber. And she immediately subscribed to me. Um, but yeah, may she rest in peace, Jill. We love you. And we'll see you soon. I, sorry. I hope you enjoyed this review of Pride Proud of My Life palette because I'm proud of you, Jill. So, Mahalkita, I love you, and I'll see you soon.